I'm back. The inside of the old camp building reminded me of kindergarten. The one I attended. It is. It's all in your mind. This is. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, reclusive childhood memories? Or re. Anyways, suppressed childhood memories. Uh, da, 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 da. At first glance, even the room arrangement was the same. Shurik! Shurik! Hold on, hold on. Shurik! Shurik! There you go. How's that for realism? Grave like silence replied to us. Oh, excuse me. That was me tapping. Uh, even the wind outside had calmed down. Looks like uh, no one's here. We should check anyways. The building's gonna fall on us. Lena's courage still didn't cease to surprise me. Or should I say her lack of normal self-preservation instinct didn't. I don't know if this behavior is strange for this girl or not. Okay, let's do it. I mean, yeah, yeah let's continue to look is what I meant. This floor looked a lot like the other one, not as if they just used the same painting. Ellipses agreed. We thoroughly examined all the rooms, uh, all the, the rooms of the old camp, and I even ex inspected the attic. Ooh, that must have been fun. There were sites that people had visited this place everywhere. Newspapers, empty bottles, other garbage. Was, excuse me, that was a Boston accent there for a second. But there was no sign of Shurik. We returned to the halls where we had started our search. What should we do next? I, I, I have no idea. Lena sat on the steps and stared at her feet. I think we should probably go back. I began carefully. It's late and can just the two of us really search an entire forest for him? You may be right. I may be crazy. But it's maybe a lunatic you're looking for. Shut out the lights. Don't try to save me. That's what Sherrick would have said. <laughs> Again, it's an 80s song, so it's appropriate. Yes. I'm going to be happy each time I actually use the 80s songs appropriately. <laughs> ah, whiskey, whiskey, whiskey. Well, I am. I weighed my hands in resignation and sat next to her. We should think about the worst outcome. Are, are you saying... Oh, look at that... <laughs> Uh, that should almost be twitching. No, but are there any animals around here? Uh, I doubt it. Lena, calm down at once. He might be sleeping somewhere. He'll wake up in the morning and return to camp. Y yes, of course. Oh, that, that's just a... Oh, God, that face is melting. That just is melting the hardest of hearts. I mean, it's so sweet. Oh, why'd you back away? I jumped to my feet and started to walk in circles around the hall. I really wanted to leave this place to get out of the forest, but it was as if Lena's behavior was keeping me here. Here, I wanted to go on trying to persuade her, but I noticed something on the floor. It was a trap door. There were little heaps of garbage and dust around it. It must have been opened recently. Look. Do you, do you think Shurik's in there? Lena squatted <clears throat> and carefully pulled the hatch handle. It might not be Shurik, so be careful. Uh, be, but someone surely was here recently. I've already regretted finding the damn gates to hell. Let's check it out. What part of gates to hell don't you understand? You cute little thing. The trap door wasn't very heavy, so you could open it without much effort. I directed the flashlight into it and saw a ladder going down a couple of meters. I don't know how, what meters are. Looks like a cellar. Wine! Dear Lord, there's wine down there. Go for it. Let's go down. A agreed. I looked at Lena for a few minutes trying to understand why, what was on her mind. Did she have a craving for adventure like Ulsa? She, excuse me. Mm -hmm. mm. Excuse me, that's uh, lunch disagreeing with me. Or maybe she just was a bit nuts. Went a bit nuts, excuse me. Nina didn't seem like a crazy person. No, she seems like the only sane person in this game so far, other than uh, uh, Sylvia. 
But anyways, who would even say she was, she really is a human and you can evaluate her as human be, and again, you're probably all real, I guess. That thought should have scared me, but somehow I didn't pay it any attention among the millions of other thoughts. Some of them were more important. For example, what could be down there? Ellipses didn't help at all. What the hell kind of sewer is this? Then we found the Ninja Turtles. Cowabunga, dude. Anyways, I climbed down and looked around. Everything's okay. After I made sure that there was nothing to be afraid of, I called Lena. We stood in a long corridor, which certainly wasn't a cellar. It said architecture was much resembled the KBG, KGB subways or subway. Yeah, almost looked like maintenance. They in college. There's these legends of these maintenance tubes underneath the uh, NEU campus, Northern Arizona University, which is up in Flagstaff where it snows a lot. And they used to talk about how some students used to sneak down in these uh, tubes like this because they were heated. So during the snow, you could actually walk down these heated tubes. Anyways, uh, maintenance, yes, yes, yeah. There was countless wires along the wall fashioned by metal hooks E every half a meter there was lumps under the ceiling covered by rusty shades crumbled concrete crunched under our feet unpleasantly nice alliteration shall we go lena without any emotion uh where to there why yes if what if sherrick's there what what would he be doing there in any case, I wasn't really able to refuse her today, so we forgot about our fears and headed into the darkness, where we met our demise by the... Oh, who was the guy from uh, Quark that used to kill you? Oh, was it Quark? Anyways. Again, nice art style. Lena walked next to me, holding my hand. The silence of the dungeon was interrupted by only the sound of our steps and water dripping from the ceiling. We moved forward slowly, maybe too slowly. I suddenly felt the surge of claustrophobia. I gritted my teeth and squeezed the touch and uh, the teeth and squeezed the torch. Oh, excuse me. Uh, but loosened my grip once, fearful of breaking the only source of light. Lena kept silence, and her silence seemed louder than any words. I started to fear. Say something. I'm giving up on you. I actually forgot the rest of the lyrics of that song. And again, it wasn't the 80s anyway, so. Say something. I'm giving up on you. A door. What? There's a door. She pointed forwards. You type open door on your keyboard. It said door requires golden key. It's a bunker? What's this? It's Vault 13! We came to a massive metal door with a biohazard sign. Looks like a bomb shelter. Yeah, I heard something about it. Why is it here? It's the Soviet! No, 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 not the Cuban Missile Crisis, just Cold War in general. They were building the, these things. Anyways, Cuban? I estimate the appropriate time of constructing this camp making sense. However, building a bomb shelter here was like building an airport at, uh, wow. Is that really what I think it is? In North Bumberlin, North Humberlin or Luckcock, whistling in the UK. I don't know. Wasn't deep enough nor far from civilization. The door was wheeled uh, to the crack. I pushed it with all my strength and it turned a couple times. I made my mind and opened the door with difficulty. We entered the room which seemed to be the main living quarters. There were several people there. Nothing. There was some beds, cases, some uh, scientific equipment they had thoroughly prepared for the nuclear apocalypse. We didn't find any sign of Shurik, though. You know, this is all totally what he would look want. Look! Lena was holding a flare gun and smiling. Why would I need it? To fight monsters. There's 
no monsters here. Other than mankind! Anyways, at least I wanted to believe that. If you say so, I guarantee it. I didn't want to upset her, so I tucked the flare gun into my belt. It might come in handy. We thoroughly searched the room once again. There was two exits. The first was a door we had entered. The other, uh, another door exactly the same in the left wall. For a moment, I felt excitement, the urge to reach the end of the labyrinth and to learn what prize awaited there. However, this surely wasn't a computer game and there's no option to save. Actually, it quite is a game. I could, matter of fact, I could save it right now if I wanted to. Maybe with this, Lena, what is there? There should be a freaking map here somewhere, right? Anyways, Alina, rather big crowbar. What am I, Gordon freaking Freeman? <laughs> However, the door wouldn't budge. It only cracked nastily, and the door wheel wouldn't turn a millimeter. Okay, give it to me. It was uh, too easy with the crowbar. Oh, wow. In the end, the obstacle collapsed, hitting the floor loudly, crushing Lena. The end. Uh, the hinges rusted and completely went through. I pointed the flashlight into the... Well, by the way, what's, at this point, why would he be in a locked door? Anyways. Oh, I missed that. Let's go. I'm yelling timber. Uh, it was Lena, constantly driving me on. Oh, where are we rushing to? Me? I'm not. She blushed in confusion. Again... What should I make of her? First, she doesn't fear a thing. Then, she gets lost after a word. You look like you don't fear anything. I don't know what I should fear. You will protect me anyways. Oh, look at that face. I'm going to fail you. Oh, God. Don't let her die. She added, barely audible. Lena is counting on me. She believes in me. So I believe myself. Who believes in myself? My drill will pierce the heavens. Anyways, it's possible. All right, do the impossible, see the invisible. Stupid, naive, but possible. I know clearly that I couldn't protect anyone, even myself. Nothing is up to me in this world. The power that brought me here could do anything. That didn't exactly meant that inevitable death invent. Death awaited me in the end of the tunnel. It could be lying in wait anywhere in this camp. Let's go. Again, same picture, but quite cute. Ellipses led the way. I tried to walk faster, but Lena seemed not to be bothered by that, and she easily kept pace with me. The corridor was exactly the same as the previous one in every last detail. There was nothing shocking about it, but at some point, I got the feeling that we were walking in circles. The flashlight in my hand started to tremble visibly. The spot of the light jumped all over the walls. Suddenly, it lit up a rather big hole. The hole was too deep. Uh, what? The hole wasn't too deep, and down below, we could see rails. What's down there? Well, rails, it looks like. Oh, a mine, yes. Shall we have a look? Why not go further along the corridor? I don't know. I think we should go down there. I estimate the height to be possible to pull ourselves out. Okay, let's check it out. I mean, nothing bad happens in abandoned mines. It's not like it collapses and kills children. By the way, I grew up around abandoned mine shafts. And I'm out of whiskey again. Damn it. I jumped down the hole and helped Lena get down. It was, it really was a mine. I wonder what could have been mined here. Uranium, given the time frame, is what they would really be after. What minerals are in this area? I don't know. Well, yeah, stupid question. Looks like there are none now. We headed into the darkness. It was hard to walk because I could choose. I couldn't choose where I trod uh, when planks. Yes, yes, yes. I wasn't able to stick closer to the walls. The narrowness of the tunnel forced us to stay between the rails, and I didn't. And I didn't want to let go of Lena's hand. In any scenario, finally we reached the fork. 
Jess? Great. Where should we go? Well, I'm not certain that we'll be able to get out of here at all, especially if we go all Pac-Man. Oh, go and play Pac-Man. Play what? Uh, never mind. We'll get lost. By the way, Pac- Oh, wait a minute. Was Pac-Man- Pac-Man was the 80s, but it might not have been Soviet Union. Uh, would you know him better as Waka Waka Man? Waka 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 Away? From Pac-Man's Tyranny? What if there's an exit, too? There might be one. And what if there isn't? Should we go back? I bit my lip. It bled and yelled out as loud as it could. Sherrick! The loud echo rebounded from every direction at once. Soil felt fell from the ceiling in some places. See? Then, I will go alone. I offer myself as tribute. By the way, I've never seen or read that book. What? I grinned stupidly. Alone? Where to? We, we must find Shirk. He might, he may be. Lena blushed at once and stared at the ground. No, 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 no. That we, that won't do. If we go, we go together. Okay, then let's go. She smiled and took my hand. How does she manage that? Because she's a cute woman. They have complete control over men. Anyways, but first we should... I took a sharp stone from the ground and scratched a cross on one of the beams which supported the wall. Now we will know where we started. Uh, fudge nuts. <laughs>